And we're back to discuss Coco. And if you saw our review, um, we all liked the movie. Um, we recommended it. Um, as far as like spoilers or other things to discuss in the movie, um, I was fairly. One of the things that that bothers me or gets in my way with animated movies or you know Disney movies is how much of the plot I can guess ahead of time. Um, that was a big problem I had with Inside Out. I felt like I knew exactly what was going to happen about 15 minutes, 20 minutes into the movie. Um, this one, the only thing I figured out ahead of time was that the the singer guy, the well-known singer mm -hmm. guy, was going to turn out to be the villain. I had that figured out pretty quickly. Did you figure out that he wasn't the father? No, but the first time I saw that guy, I thought that guy was going to turn out to be the father and um, for some reason, because like because they weren't remembering him, he couldn't come back but then I found out later that because all those other people remember him he has all of those Right, like uh, the fans Yeah, right. with the uh, whatever, the offerings or whatever they give mm -hmm. to him like that's what keeps his spirit alive so he doesn't need his family to remember him um, so I did actually think he was the father for a little while in the beginning and then because of that because mm -hmm. I was like well how, so how does he how does he continue to stay how does he continue to stay right. a, you know alive um, what did you guys think did you figure out who the real dad was no I don't not at all but I did kind of think that he was suspicious <laughs> mm -hmm. He did seem like a little bit too good to be true. Like, yeah. Yeah. When, when they finally found him, um, there were other twists that got to me or that 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 tricked me. Like I, I figured that the matriarch who had cut the music out of the family would come around at the end of the movie, mm -hmm. but the fact that like in the second act or so she sings and reveals that she was yeah into Imelda, that stuff Imelda, Imelda. Imelda yeah um and that was that was a cool reveal and I thought like there was a p possibility for the movie to turn there and it's mm -hmm. like no it's still not going to turn but we're not going to we're not going to have this cliched mm -hmm. you know something else that that changes her mind about it or anything um and the fact that she doesn't actually forgive him um she yeah. just well that's I mean I think for cartoon characters they were very well developed um, that that yeah like she for she didn't forgive him but she also didn't want him to be forgotten mm -hmm. uh, that she made that distinction uh, because from her experience she he still left their family and never came back right um, yeah it wasn't it, his fault Right, well, but, she but the leaving was his fault. Right, but she, he left still. And that's That would be hard to forgive. But he wanted to come back. Right, yeah. but she didn't know that. He told her. He still left her home with a baby. Yeah, and By that herself. makes people crazy. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. This is true. What else do you guys think? Any other thoughts on the movie? My favorite part. No one can come see you. Come up here and talk to you if you're going to talk. Nobody can see you. You're invisible. <laughs> My favorite part was, was when the jaguar was trying to eat the... I did really like the spirit animals, too. Yeah, yeah, I like the animals. dog. I liked, I liked how the cheetah was like trying to play with the, with the evil guy. The evil. Oh, you mean... Oh. Oh, the, the, the father. Yeah. yeah. The father. father. Yeah. You don't have to put that in quotation marks. <laughs> That doesn't go in quotation marks. Ugh. It's either the father or the fake father. Yes. It's not the both. The fake father. Well, they thought the, all of the family sort of drama resonated as well. I may or may not have cried a little at the end. Oh, sure. Maybe. Yeah, I thought I was, but yeah. yeah the, it was sad. It was uh, When the grandma starts singing. Yeah. Neil, stop. Um, and then she's dead. Hey, spoiler alert. We're yeah. in spoilers. Oh, right. Okay. 
yeah. It did, okay. but it did make me want to know more about Mexican culture and um, Dia de los Muertos. But they didn't show us. They didn't show us how she died. She was old. She was very old. Yeah. And she was starting to lose her memory and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's why she that's was forgetting why, her dad. That's why, yeah, he almost died. But then he came. Like, right. he almost died. He almost double died. Right. But, then, <laughs> but now the little boy remembers him, and they have his picture, so he'll be able to come back. I think mm -hmm. he was a girl. Which he did. The no, no, no. They, he had a baby with him. Oh, right. That was Coco, the old grandma. It was his baby girl. No, oh, no, the baby the baby the was movie, his little sister because his mom it. was pregnant. Pregnant. And then she had what? a baby. I see that. Yes. We, we digress. Miguel had a baby <laughs> sister. Baby was yes. Sister. Okay. So that's Coco. Uh, if you like the way we do these, please like the video, subscribe, check out all the written video reviews at dalemaxfield.com, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye!